In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate Kp from Kc. And so we're given a reaction where gaseous carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen gas to produce methane, which is natural gas, and gaseous water or steam. We're given the temperature of the reaction. It's 123 degrees Celsius. How can we calculate Kp, the equilibrium partial pressure, given Kc, the equilibrium concentration constant. Well, in order to calculate the equilibrium constant for partial pressure, we could use this formula. Kp is going to equal Kc times Rt raised to the delta n. Now, you might be wondering, what is R? In this example, R is not 8.3145 joules per mole per Kelvin, but rather it's 0 0.08206 liters times ATM divided by moles times Kelvin. Now, note that the unit of temperature is in Kelvin. Right now, we have the temperature in Celsius, so we need to convert it to Kelvin. The Kelvin temperature is equal to the Celsius temperature plus 273. So we need to add 123 and 273. And that is going to be 396 Kelvin. So that's our T value in this problem. Now you might be wondering, what about delta N? What is delta N? Delta N is the difference between the sum of the coefficients of the products minus the sum, let's put the sigma notation in the case sum, minus the sum of the coefficients of the reactants. So in order to calculate delta N, we need to balance the chemical equation first. Now, when balancing a chemical equation, it's best to save the substance in its pure elemental form last. Notice that hydrogen is in its pure elemental form. So I would balance that element last. Note that the number of carbon atoms is the same on both sides. So let's put a one in front of carbon monoxide and in front of methane. Now notice that we have the same number of oxygen atoms on both sides. It's one. So let's put a one in front of H2O. Now notice that we have four hydrogen atoms in methane and two in steam. So that's six on the right side. In order to have six hydrogen atoms on the left side, six divided by two is three. So we need to put a three in front of H2. So that is the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Now, the sum of the coefficients of the products, it's going to be 1 plus 1. The sum of the coefficients of the reactants is 1 plus 3. And everything is in its gaseous state, so we can use all of it. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is 2 minus 4, which is equal to negative 2. So that's our n value. n is negative 2 in this example problem. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and plug everything in to this equation. So the equilibrium constant for concentration is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3. Our r value is 0.08. 206, and we have a Kelvin temperature of 396. And then delta N, that's negative 2. So let's take this one step at a time. 0 0.08206 times 396, that's 32.49576. And we're going to raise that to negative 2. 
So once you raise it to the negative second power, you should get 9.4699 and some other numbers times 10 to the minus 4. So if we take that number, multiply it by 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3, this gives us the equilibrium constant for partial pressure, which is 3.314 times 10 to the minus 6. So this is our Kp value. So now you know how to calculate Kp given Kc. Here's another example. Calculate Kc, the equilibrium constant for concentration, given Kp. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. So going back to our original formula, we know that Kp is equal to Kc times RT raised to the delta n. Well, in this example, we want to calculate Kc. So we need to rearrange this equation. If we divide both sides by RT raised to the delta n, we can get the formula for Kc. And so here it is. Kc is equal to Kp divided by Rt raised to the delta n. So that is the formula we're going to use in this problem. But let's begin by balancing the chemical equation. So we have the decomposition of ammonia, which breaks down into nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. So first, let's balance the number of nitrogen atoms. We have two nitrogen atoms on the right side. So we need to put a 2 in front of NH3 and a 1 in front of N2. So now the number of nitrogen atoms are equal on both sides of this reaction. Now we need to balance the number of hydrogen atoms. We have 2 on the right, but we have 2 times 3, or 6, on the left. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we need to put a 3 in front of H2. And so now we have a balanced chemical equation. So at this point, we can calculate delta N, which is going to be the sum of the coefficients of the products minus the sum of the coefficients associated with the reactants. So on the product side of the chemical reaction, which is the right side, the coefficients are 1 and 3. For the reactant side, it's 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So delta N in this problem is equal to 2. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to convert the temperature from units of Celsius to units of Kelvin. So we know the Kelvin temperature is going to be the Celsius temperature plus technically it's 273.15 but if you, you use 273 you're, you're going to be okay. So we're going to just round it to 273. 27 plus 273, that's 300. So our Kelvin temperature is 300 Kelvin. Now let's go ahead and calculate Kc using this formula. So we have Kc is equal to Kp where Kp is 3.44 times 10 to the minus 4, divided by, so we have our R value, which is 0 0.08206, and not the other R value of 8.3145, times the Kelvin temperature of 300, and then it's raised to delta N, which is positive 2 in this example. So like before, we're going to take this one step at a time. So let's begin by multiplying 0 0.08206 by 300. So you should get 24.618. 
Next, we're going to square that number. Twenty-four point six one eight squared is equal to six hundred and six point zero four five nine two four. So now let's divide those two numbers. And we're going to get a KC value of 5.676 times 10 to the minus 7. So that's the equilibrium constant for concentration. So now you know how to calculate KP from KC and also KC from KP. Thanks for watching.